Hey guys, and welcome to another IndieTips.com tutorial for daily notebook friendly filmmaking tips. Go check out that site. And today we're just going to cover a quick tip on how to take your footage from Premiere into After Effects. And it's one of the most commonly asked questions I have on my video. And there's many ways to do this. If we just take a Premiere here and we have our footage, our edited sequence. What we want to do is to take this sequence, take this clip, and place it over in After Effects so we can apply our grading or our special effects. And render the whole video out and then place it into After Effects as one single file. Now obviously that is going to compromise your footage to some extent as whenever you render you will be losing the original quality that you had from your camera and if not if you're going to be rendering at a lossless uh, codec the file is going to be completely huge. So if we open up After Effects what we can do is go into File, Adobe Dynamic Link, Import Premiere Pro Sequence. Now there's our tutorial. We click the sequence, click OK. I'm going to drag this and make a new composition. So now what we have, we have our sequence from Adobe Premiere Pro in After Effects. However, it's all been imported as one timeline, as one sequence. And the individual clips have been merged into one. Now obviously if we have day to night exterior shots or uh, some shots which are taking place in a cold cast environment and the others we want a warm cast uh, feel this isn't going to be ideal we're going to have to be we're going to have to make multiple uh, layers and do some trimming and some cutting it's not ideal it's not the best way to go in so what we can also do is we remove this go into file import adobe premiere pro project there's our tutorial, open that in. All sequences and import audio if you like. So now all of our footage has been imported from Premiere Pro. If I double click the composition file, now we can go into the composition and we have our individual clips. We have our individual shots which we can color grade differently if needed we can apply individual effects to that certain layer instead of having it all merged into one now coming out of after effects there are two options you're not going to be able to import the after effects uh, file into premiere pro because obviously some uh, plugins and presets won't exist over in premiere pro so you can then open premiere pro File Adobe Dynamic Link, import After Effects composition. So now here we have our sequence. And this is from After Effects. And if we had applied any effects or any grading, the changes would appear in our Premiere Pro timeline. Oh. So this has been another IndieTips.com tutorial for daily notebook friendly filmmaking tips. Go over and check that site. And we will be back with a big tutorial in the week. Catch you soon.